Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 192. I'm Nate Moore. We're going to uh, get the payoff now from learning about this int, len, and mod function from last time. The uh, formula we're going to do looks bad, and I, I've printed it out here so you can see. It's a big, long, nasty thing with, with this mod thing in there a couple of times, and int, and if, and len. And let me step by step in six steps work through how on earth this thing comes together and how we can make this number, say uh, 762, turn into 12 hours and 42 minutes down here. The first step is we need the number of hours in 762. And so what this piece does is the int function is just going to say, give me the integer from dividing 762 by 12. Remember, mod was trying to give us the remainder. We don't want the remainder. We just want the integer now of dividing 762 by the 60 minutes in an hour. And that's what gave me the 12. And so I know that there are 12 hours in 762 minutes. And so step two says, I'm just going to throw this little colon in between them. And that's what the and sign does. Remember the and and concatenate and all that? We're going to take the 12. We're going to put an, an and sign before the 12, add the colon, an and sign after, and keep going. So here's the and signs that are going on. Step three says, all right, how many minutes are there in... 762. So what we're doing, remember INT said how many hours, give me um, the, the integer out of it, and now show me the remainder with mod. And what mod's going to do is it's just going to say, I'll tell you that there's 42 minutes left over, that's your remainder, after you divide 762 by 60. See up here we're dividing A16 by 60 minutes, down there we're doing the same, A16 by 60. INT is giving us 12 hours, now we know there's 42 minutes. There's one more step to make this a little fancy. And let's see if we did like 723 or something like that. That's what I want. The reason I did 723 is sometimes if, if the, the remainder is between 0 and 9, instead of having like I had before and have 42 minutes, I've only got 3. So what I want to do is throw a 0 in front if the number is between uh, 0 and 9, so that I don't get uh, a number that looks like 12 colon 3, like that. That, it, well, by typing it in, it fixed it for me. But 12 colon 3, yeah, let's do it like this. There we go. So I don't end up with a number that looks like that. I want 12 colon 03. I want to drop a 0 in there. And that's what step 5 is doing. Or step 4 and 5, I guess I should say. Step four, check to see if the number of minutes is one digit, true, or two digits, false. So what this false does, it says, hey, I'm going to look at um, if the formula says if a six, if the if you take the length of the, of the remainder of a sixteen divided by sixty, if the length is one, that means I've got a single digit in my this is a 3. If I go back to 762, now it's false. It says, no, I've got two digits here. So let's go back. It's all right. If the number of minutes is one digit, if that's true, then if it's, here, here, here's if step 5. If step 4 is true, add a 0 with the and sign again. See this and, 0 and? We're going to put a 0 and in front of the number of minutes. Number of minutes there is this mod A17 divided by 60. If it's true, add the 0. Otherwise, I don't need to add a 0 because I've got 762, 42 minutes. I don't want to say 0, 42. This, this works. This, this looks right. If I go back to 723, I want to drop that 0 in. And that's all we're doing. We're just saying if the length of the remainder is 1, that means it's a single digit remainder. I'm going to um, stick a 0 on the front of it. If it's not a single digit remainder, I don't need to stick the zero on, just give me the remainder and I'm good to go. And step six says, show me the hours and the minutes. That's the convoluted process to convert any number you want up here, 512 or 901. You can convert any number you want up here to an hours and minutes setting by getting the number of hours, putting a colon in there, calculating the number of minutes, and then figuring out if the number of minutes is single digits or not. If it is single digits, put a zero on there. If it's not, leave it alone and put the 1501 there at the bottom.
that's what I wanted to show you. I hope it was halfway understandable, especially after you invested the time to understand what int, len, and mod are going to do. But that's the way to convert a raw number of minutes into hours and minutes. Hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.